Another component to solid weight loss strategy. We have talked diet and exercise. Third element, our friend Mike Granato from Community Health is on the line and joins us. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm well. How are you, Scott? I'd be a lot better if I'd stretch more. At least that's, I think, the point of all this. What, what's your thoughts on stretching? So stretching is a common area that we tend to lack focus on when it comes to fitness and weight loss. So myself, I'm guilty as this. Mm -hmm. When we all had more downtime during the stay at home period, my job was mostly remote. So I started to get super tight and I put a, my new year's resolution, I guess, was to focus more on stretching and not only just improve my flexibility, but it also can help from a weight loss standpoint. How so? What are the benefits that lead us to that goal? So when you think about putting in any type of effort, right? When we put in effort, our heart rate's gonna go up and eventually lead to a calorie burn. Same thing goes with stretching. When you're exerting effort, we're gonna get that benefit. But not only does stretching increase the flexibility and mobility of the muscle, but it can also help build stronger muscles and muscle fibers actually burn more calories at rest during, or I guess, as opposed to other muscle fibers. So not only are you burning calories more efficiently during the stretching, but also later on throughout the day when you're not as mobile. Ideally, how often should somebody stretch? So usually we want to aim for maybe every other day, so three or four days a week. And the most trouble spots that people normally focus on are your hamstrings, your hip, shoulders and upper back can get a little tight too. So we've got some stretches um, that, that can definitely help in those areas. How about when? Always paired with exercise, done alone? What do you think? So I stretch first thing in the morning. So if you're stretching and it's not around your exercise program, you can stretch at any time. When you throw in your exercise with you're stretching you want to stretch always after you exercise and that's a common misconception because most people think you want to warm up muscles but if you stretch a cold muscle that can lead for some strains and some pain so when you exercise you want to mimic the movement that you're about to do so if you're running maybe start at a slower pace if you're strength training ease your way in doing more lighter weight high repetition and then once those muscle fibers are warmer, you want to stretch after your exercise is completed. Feels pretty good, too, when you do it that way. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I know you have more thoughts. We've got a great web story put together for this. It's on wishtv.com. You click the News tab and then Local. It'll take you right to Mike's uh, story on that. Uh, as always, thanks for the wisdom, sir. Good luck with your uh, continuing health journey as well. I appreciate it. Thanks, Scott. All right, we'll see you soon.